Okay, so what's up? This is Enrique Rodriguez here. Oh, hi, Sir Madams. My name is Sir Reginald Livingsworth. Hello, my name is Nikki Tan. Hey, guys. So my name is Muhammad. Hey, guys. What's up? This is Tom Black here. Straight out of Compton. Yo, bud. This is Cheetah here. You know what I'm saying? Straight out of Johannesburg. Oh, my, my nits. This is Jeff Wales. Oh, 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 and this is Robespierre. How are we all the mother knowledge tools? Okay. You know what, um, let's uh, get this started, uh, you know, the Rantology. I'm looking forward to this because, uh, well, for one reason, uh, we're back, you know, um, doing this uh, ever since, uh, uh, no, ever since the previous Rantology and uh, also uh, um, uh, the previous episodes since we remembered, like, you know, all the first 50 episodes uh, of Malanology since, uh, like, it first came out. Okay, so, uh... What are we gonna rant today? Oh yeah, uh, we're gonna rant on uh, Donald Trump and uh, the GOP. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that Donald Trump is a really pain in the ass. Hey, what, what is that? What do you mean? What is that? Yeah, I mean, just give give us a reason. I mean, I'm not really okay. Maybe conservative, like in France, but in America, I don't know. But I'm not really that conservative. If I were American. Even though I would be a patriot, but, uh, anyway, I voted. I voted, yeah, and, uh, apparently, like, uh, a lot of people are voting, like, you know, right wing, yeah, these days. Good to know, good to know. So, yeah, uh, let me give you the, let me give you the, um, rundown about Donald Trump. Okay, uh, where do I start with? Yo, Bo! Yo, get this over with. And besides, you've already, like, had your fair share, Bo. Alright, here's the thing. Donald Trump, like, I know the guy, but uh, I haven't really met him. He is a rich guy. He's a billionaire, you know. You know, he's just, like, you know, chilling in New York, you know, pay, you know, a lot of w women, you know, to have sex with him and stuff. You know, drive a fancy cars, you know, from a drive-in. <laughs> Yo, Tom. Tom, you know what I mean? Really, really, hey, you have everything and I have nothing. Wow, well, I mean, I, I'm I'm not being like uh, you know offensive at all. Yeah, okay, okay, enough uh, with the argument. Okay, okay, Donald Trump like is a billionaire, of course. Like he's running for president, and of course we hear them say, uh, y you got the the picture, Enrique, right? Yeah, um, it goes like this. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. <laughs> to me, I think uh, that's uh, uh, pretty much a declar declaration of, uh, like, you know, the worst is about to come. I mean, really? Really? Why? Oh, yeah, you know what made it worse for the GOP is when Donald Trump, uh, of course, like, you know, ended the race. You know, it, I mean, the other GOPs, you know, just fell. I mean... Most of us uh, don't vote, uh, like, Republican, but, uh, like, the thing is that, uh, like, it's become more of a roast than, uh, like, a presidential debate, uh, to be honest. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Quite entertaining. <laughs> oh, my God. I've seen so many TOPs. I'm like, whoa, I thought this was a presidential debate, not a roast. <laughs> Competing for pores. Yo, better policies. And of course, there's also ranting about President Obama and many of the uh, of, uh, Democrats. Of course, that is common, but uh, with the GOP, like, you know, with Donald Trump around, it just turns uh, the GOP into, like, a roasting event, you know? The GOPs, you know, try to diss each other out instead of dissing the Democrats, like, you know, instead. I mean, they, even though they do, but, you know, they do more to each other than them. Right, mate, eh, uh, so I think the race uh, is about to get, like, you know, so wild, you know? I mean, of course, like, to all Republicans, uh, like, you know, who are watching this right now, I'm sorry we're being, like, so offensive right now, we don't mean any disrespect, yeah, I mean, like, you know, this is uh, just, uh, like, you know, the view, uh, like, you know, hey, 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 uh, we don't, like, mean to, like, be disrespectful to Donald Trump, you know, we're just uh, giving out our opinions. You know, and uh, if you uh, can't uh, take our opinions, well, you might as well just go fuck yourselves. Like, right? Whatever. 
Oh, anyway, um, so I guess uh, that's uh, pretty much uh, uh, for uh, it today. Well, what are you talking about? Um, of course, it's more like you know, to Donald Trump. Uh, like, for instance, like uh, he like you know, sued NBC, Santa Macy's, he sued Univision. Uh, he took down uh, uh, one of the Fox News's of uh, um, anchor woman and also the Spanish uh, anchor. And also, like, what he calls Liar Brian Williams, you know, from NBC, you know, because Brian Williams, like, was kicked out of, uh, you know, NBC Nightly News, give it a nice heart, you know, because he was a liar. Yeah, uh, yeah, whatever, whatever. Alright, says, so, um, anything else uh, we might add? Alright then, uh, I guess uh, we can, uh, like, uh, I mean, there's no point in, like, talking about, like, the other GOPs, you know, Ben Carson, Dr. Ben Carson, uh, Carlos Fiorina, and, uh, Jet Bush, you know, whatever. I mean, like, yeah, eh, I mean, those people are, like, uh, you know, somewhat boring, you know, not, I mean, sure, they may be part of the rant, but, no, there's no point in ranting them, only Donald Trump, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the guy's, the guy's more of a comedian than, uh, like, you know, serious presidential candidate. I mean, seriously. Seriously. I mean, you can't really buy yourself into the Oval Office like that. I mean, even if you could, like, that'd be illegal. Yeah, I don't know what you mean, like, by, like, yeah, buying yourself into the Oval Office. I mean, of course, like, he has money, but uh, there's no way money could buy, like, all the support. You know? I mean, like, I heard him say, the like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the Jew, I'm gonna get everybody to vote for me, y'all, yeah. and, uh, and Rick, can you, uh, do the rest, yeah, let's see, yeah, the Mexicans, uh, they're crossing the border illegally, uh, they, they're taking jabs, uh, like, with China, and Japan, and Mexico, what are the jabs? <laughs> I thought that was really funny. I mean, of course, that is really offensive to me, but, uh, like, you know, the way he said it, like, you know, with that kind of tone, that, that that's just, uh, that's just so funny. I mean, he is, I mean, he's somewhat being offensive, that's true, but, uh, he's more of a comedian than a serious presidential candidate. If you want to be a pres serious presidential candidate, you have to, uh, like, be the man or a woman of the people, you know? That's the whole point of it, you know, of being president. Be the person of the people. You know, don't, like, go around uh, and, like, uh, assume that you have enough money or enough confidence, uh, you know, just to enter the race uh, or to, uh, like, just, uh, you know, say, Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run for president. Uh, I'm going to, like, get everybody to vote for me, even if uh, they're not, like, GOP or whatever party I'm in. I, I don't care. It doesn't really work that way. You have to, uh, like, you know, welcome a lot of people with open arms, even if uh, they are in the opposite party from yours. I mean, be the person of the people. You know, think about what, uh, you know, issues they have, you know. Do and think about what you're going to, like, do if you were president. Be wise. Be considerate. Jesus Christ. I'm pretty sure there's more to this uh, than, uh, like, what we said. I mean, to be honest, like, time's running out, and, uh, like, I don't want to waste uh, a lot of time in this episode, uh, you know, stuttering uh, along with you guys, you know, stuttering as well, like, trying to come up with new words and new conversations every day. You know, that's just really boring. Yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, we're just gonna, like, wrap this up uh, right now, but there will be more rants to come in the next episode and uh, throughout the rest of the season, so, uh, let's start off with Enrique. So, uh, goodbye, everyone. Hope you enjoy your day. Boss, you, madams. Goodbye, everyone. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Yo, we'll see you in the next episode, episode 292 of uh, Rantology 3 in the season 29 of Marlon T3. See you next time. Or more, more, let's see you next time. Bye 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 everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>